Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today, back for something a little bit different once again. Obviously though, we are on the Archon, royal.archonhq.net if you guys want to come check the server out. But guys, today we are on something completely unique, completely different from other servers. We are on Archon Outlands, alright? So if I just take a look around, you guys can see... Minecraft is looking a little different. We got this guy with legit a Tommy gun on him. So guys, basically, if you don't know what Archon Outlands is, it's pretty much Rust, but in Minecraft. And let me tell you, bro, people take this game mode so insanely serious, dude. Obviously, it's competitive. There are payouts if we do slash clan top right here. The number one clan gets $150 PayPal and $150 Bycraft. And you guys can see the rest of it right there. Now, guys, I have played seasons of this before, but they were kind of just like I hopped on, didn't really know what to do, and I just joined a random clan. But this season, we are in a pretty solid clan, I believe. I don't think they're going to be going for clan top in this season and like sweating it out a lot, but I know these guys are good at PvP on here. And the PvP is obviously, you know, guns, all right? You guys can see all kinds of different guns just right here at Slash Spawn. There are even, like, helicopters on this server, bro. Like, it looks small in my hands, but whenever you place this little helicopter right here, trust me, it is pretty big and you can fly around the map. It's nuts. So anyways, guys, I am definitely not good at Outlands at all, but this season I plan to learn a lot because I am playing with a super, super good clan. And this just recently reset a couple hours ago. So I'm going to go ahead and go take my first look at the base, see what we are working with. So we TP'd Exiled Kid right over, I mean, somewhere in the chat. We should be there in like 10 seconds. Boom. Here we are. Again, it is start of the world, so our base isn't going to be that stacked. You guys can see he's in like wood gear or something. So this is a little shack that we're working with for right now. I'm going to start placing down a lot of these crates that I don't even know what they are. We have PvP crates. We have supply crates. We have a pass chest, which I know is actually really good. So let's go ahead and drop down this PvP crate, I believe. And we have to see what we are going to pull here. I don't even know what we want, man. Um, all right, vehicle buff. Oh my god! Yo, look at this. I don't know what this is, bro. This is like a massive helicopter. Oh my god, dude. Look at it in my inventory. What? This thing is insane, bro. So let's go ahead. We're going to drop down another PvP crate. I definitely want to try and get a gun, though. I don't know if you can even win guns from these. But your boy needs a weapon. All right. I need to be able to shoot people and four to eight protection stars. I don't know if that's good. And we got some more pass chests. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, switch it up to the supply crate right here and see what we actually get. We got a research table and quarry speed 200%. Again, I still... Don't exactly know what that is. But anyways, from the final um, supply crate, we got mob buffs and then two code locks. I don't actually think that is that good. And now we have one more PvP crate. Who is that? Okay, wait. Yeah, no, no. That guy's actually in our clan as well. So here we go with the final PvP crate and four. Okay, we got another one of these helicopters. All right. And now we have the supply drops. They literally have like a chimney system over here. To call in the supply drops, I guess. So, I'm going to place it. Wait, you cannot call an airdrop here. Wait. It says I literally... I... I can't do it. Oh, I guess you're just supposed to look in the air and call it. So, now we have our supply drop coming through. Oh, bro. Is this guy going to snake my loot right here? Like... What are we talking about? This is actually a dope system, though. So that way you can call this in and you are completely safe inside of your base. And here we go. It is here. Oh, my God. All right. So we got some guns. We got some soldier gear that I'm actually going to take because I don't have anything. Small med kits, medium backpack, submachine gun ammo. We got, we got a lot of stuff from that, honestly. So, guys, we still have two more of these. I'm going to go ahead, keep calling these in and see if we can get anything good because i mean in this chest is where i place all my stuff and boom you guys can see we got ourselves an mp5 i think this might be a decent gun i'm not even a thousand percent sure to be honest and here we go with another one still like this Ooh, a rare ak-47 i think is actually pretty good and we're getting some c4 out of this we got four homemade these supply crates are looking honestly pretty crack and this is the final supply drop right here another rare ak-47 uncommon mp5 we did get a soldier chest plate out of that though and then what is this is this a car a patriot oh no way i just did that um 
Well, all right, well, guys, this looks like this is the Patriot. I tried to open the door, and I had the car in my hand, and I accidentally placed it. But, uh, yeah, you guys can tell this game mode is lit, man. I just want to learn how to actually play it, and it is going to make it a lot more fun. But anyways, guys, that is all the loot that I ended up getting. I'm actually going to take all of these recipes and just claim them. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead, take a cut right here, because I don't really know what we're working on. I can't even put on this armor because I have to slash unlock it um oh wait this is stage three armor i guess it unlocks in 14 hours i don't know i'm gonna figure out what the clan is doing i'm gonna take a cut right here i'll bring you guys back in a second all right guys so right now we are in the cave we have like a little base set up right near the cave it's not going to be our main base obviously at least i don't i mean i don't think but we have a little outpost set up over here our base is somewhere over there so basically right now we are running cave now i joined a super overpowered clan it looks like but trust me it's fair because I have no clue what I am doing. The amount of deaths that I'm probably going to take this season might be a world record. I'm going to be honest. And also from all of those recipes I got at the beginning of the video, we did get tier 4 blocks. So that is what we're crafting right now. And basically it is just stone and iron to make the tier 4 blocks. Oh yo, there's actually somebody in that base as well. Way over there. Okay, he's naked. Yeah, see he knows what's up bro. He's not going to come over here. So guys, that is literally all we're doing right now. We're just making a ton of tier 4 blocks I believe to get started on the main base. So I'm going to take a cut right here. People might pull up on us and I'm using this king pickaxe apparently it is super super good and there's only like two of them on the server because whenever you die with this king pickaxe apparently you won't actually lose it and you already get a hundred percent to double ores 50 percent to triple ores like and it's efficiency five fortune four they said it's literally the best pickaxe you could possibly get on the server and they gave it to me because i am probably gonna die if people do come here so anyways guys we're gonna keep grinding for this start of the world of base and then uh, yeah i'll bring guys back if anybody pulls up to the cave to try and contest it all right guys right now we have been mining the cave only for a couple of minutes honestly bro but these guys are pvp hungry it looks like so we're about to go pvp and i just have a thompson on us nothing else of importance like this gear does not matter have some small med kits and some sub ammo and apparently we're gonna go pull up to a cave and just try to smoke anybody that's in it Hi, where are you? should we go snow cave or somewhere wait eli come on bro oh my god this guy's weird bro this guy's <laughs> different that's not me what oh, oh wait wait hold on right. wait wait just spray him down it's people people it's actual people he's dead See, bro i couldn't even tell if i was hitting the shot bro let's go Oh my god. Yo, they hopped in the whip, bro. Dead. You guys got him? Wait, who's this, bro? Where? Yo. I got landmine with my large backpack. I just noticed that. Yo, did we just steal their whip? Oh shit, there's another guy. Oh, everything. Yeah, I'll AJ Oh, there's people, there's people. There's people here? I'll be back. Oh, all right, I got, I got smoked. So nice. Bro, I'll kill him. Bro, I'll kill him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bro, he's moving, dude. Mailbox. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Let's go. He's insane. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, how do you know if someone's PvP timer? Oh, dude, I missed. There's someone over here. I don't know if he's. Oh, no, we can kill him. Wait, what? I want to attack on Benny Tails. Bro, he's at 11 health. Yeah, come yeah. here let's go oh my god you're actually we're insane. cracked let's go all right guys so unfortunately there was not a lot of pvp as you guys saw we just had a bunch of random clips of just running in to a couple of people who who's shooting outside of our base right now bro so anyways guys for right now what we're gonna grind is wooden bases and basically what wooden bases do is this upgrades your claim so obviously right now all we have is a level one base which is an 11 by 11. And then basically we just need a ton of wooden bases to upgrade this because if we go to the final upgrade level 12, you need 1,360 wooden bases to get the max level. So I'm pretty much just gonna go out, I'm gonna grind some wood and then craft wooden bases whenever I find a spot to just dump some of this stuff off so guys if i'm being honest i really hope i don't run into anybody because i am still really really bad at pvp on here and there is a bear over there literally on this tree can you even mine this tree i don't know if you can 
Okay, yeah, you can bet. So we're gonna go ahead farm a ton of wood. I believe all you need is wood, honestly, and then you can craft wooden bases. Let me go ahead slash craft, and then you come over here to defenses, and then wooden base right here, 200 and 30 logs and we don't even have enough for one yet but yeah guys this is pretty much all we're doing right now we're gonna go ahead upgrade the base i don't know how long this video is but in the next episode i believe grace period actually ends can you do slash uh grace on here um grace period ends in 15 hours so we can't raid anybody right now can't use c4 can't use homemades none of that stuff yo while i'm at it i actually um if i go into my ender chest i have another supply drop that I got, I don't even know why I got it. I went into my mailbox and I have a ton of rewards from leveling up, I guess. So really quickly, actually, let me go ahead and craft the wooden base. Boom. And we got four of them right there. That is it. And let me actually go back to the base if we slash bed. I don't think it matters if I show cords of this base. At least I hope it doesn't. But we are so rich, dude. All of our chests are literally just filled with loot, man. Like, we have got to be one of the richest clans on start of the world like bro we just have loot everywhere but later on into the reset whenever we can start using kevlar gear and stuff this gear is going to be pretty worthless because right now i don't even think you can use an ak because it's like too overpowered on start of the world so they have a little timer for people and in this chest is where we have a lot of the better stuff right here you know we got some m4s have a ton of homemades have a lot of c4s we have choppers in here got some protection stars and check out all of this concrete that we already have to help build the base man like we are a pretty stacked clan right now and apparently this clan is some of the best pvpers on the server excluding myself obviously but yeah let's go ahead call in the supply drop really quickly and see if we get anything good i haven't really gotten a, like a really good weapon out of this yet i do have a let or a rare thompson actually not a legendary and out of this oh my god we got a mythic i don't know if a g36 is good at all but uh, oh gas i think is actually good some repair kits this i don't know what a code life is at all barricade recipe all right that was actually lit bro we got ourselves a g 36 mythic if i compare this to the rare thompson look at the damage all right 2.6 this does 3.3 the range is the same the capacity is the same so yeah that was actually a really good pull i wanted a weapon and i got it so we're gonna go ahead and just store that in this chest as well just add it to the collection you know and guys i just used all of the stone in the base and we crafted three and a half more stacks of concrete we can't even fit it all in this chest anymore bro like that is how rich we are right now but now it is time to just go ahead grind this out for a bit get a ton of wooden bases and maybe upgrade the base in this episode i'm not really sure if we're gonna be doing that in this video so guys kind of boring stuff for right now but it's gotta be done so i'm gonna go ahead just mine some wood and i'll bring you guys back in the next clip so i have been grinding a decent amount of wood and if i actually come over here to this chest and we check it we have a decent amount of wooden bases right here all right we're still definitely gonna need more for a maxed out base but again it's the first day of reset so it's not that big of a deal um I think there's someone literally flying over us right now. But guys, right now, it is 2 in the morning, and I don't really have anything to do. Um, So I'm hoping not a lot of people... Wait, oh, uh, bro, you, this guy saying my name in chat, and I see him right there. I don't like this. Why are there two people outside of our base right now, dude? I think they're naked, bro. I can't really tell. Well, guys, I wanted to go to a city, but I don't know if these guys are friendly or not. Like, I literally have no clue. They're telling me to wake this guy up, but uh, I can't do that. So, if we take a look at our map right here, you guys can see we're obviously at the cave base. The cave is right next to us, but there's also a city very, very close, and at cities there are loot barrels that you can loot there and they can give you pretty much anything recipes gun armor literally anything but it looks like they actually left the base so if we do end up dying with this gear um like i said the armor is not going to matter here in about six hours whenever we can use forest gear and that's unlocked and if we lose these weapons um yeah we have a ton of just rare weapons chilling all over the base so that's still won't really matter but the only thing that's gonna suck if we die with is i think this gas mask i don't know how rare it is but whenever you go to a city there is radiation and yeah it'll kill you if you stay in the city for too long so that is where this gas mask comes into play it decreases the damage by 50 percent so i don't see those guys near the base i'm gonna go ahead hop on out of here really quickly 
And uh, yeah, we're gonna head on over to the city. There should not be a lot of people online right now because again, it is 2 10 in the morning. So, anyways, the city should be like right in front of me. Oh, here it is. Okay. I have the gas mask on. So, if someone does start shooting us, we don't have an actual helmet on. Which means we are going to be taking uh, some amount of damage. Oh, I already see somebody way over here, bro. Wait, who is who is my man's fighting, dude? Is he in a fight with Casper, yo? Oh! Okay. Uh, what the? Okay, yeah, we're, we're, getting, we're getting ganked, bro. We are getting ganked. I large med kitted. That means I need to get out of here. I need to dip, bro. All right, well, looks like we're going to try and get back to the base. I don't know. Okay, they're not chasing. Thank God. Oh! <laughs> what? Bro, did someone just try and snipe me? I just slash betted out of there, bro. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to try and go to a different city because Jesus Christ. Wait, yo, there is somebody in the cave. I might go after this guy. Oh. Wait, come on. Oh my god, okay, I killed him. Alright, let me go see what this guy even had. I don't... This is our cave, bro. Like, I don't know why he's here, dude. This is, uh... This is our spot. Yeah, he didn't really have anything. Poor guy. I'm gonna go ahead, keep dipping on over to a city. There's one way over here. This is gonna... Wait. Dude, can I just take this guy's car? Alright, and main seat. Thank you very much. I am gonna be on my way now. So, guys, we actually went to the snow city. Hopefully, no one's here. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to keep this car because I don't know if you can heal on a car because this thing takes a minute to get, you know, picking up speed and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it right there. And I don't even know if I'll hop on it if I start getting killed because, again, I don't know if you can heal on a car. And you guys can hear that noise. That is the radiation already. But let's go ahead, loot ourselves a barrel right here, see if we can get anything good. And absolutely cheeks. Okay. If someone pulls up on us while we're looting these barrels, it is going to be bad news. Ooh, yo. Okay, we got Mythic. That is actually insanely good. That's Mythic is the highest tier on the server. So I'm glad we just pulled that. That is all garbage right there, though. Ooh, soldier helmet. Um, okay. Oh, a guardian shield. I think that is actually pretty good. There's a lot of barrels here right now, dude. I just saw like a ton of people in here, so I don't know why. There's so many barrels and we're gonna have to dip on out of here before the radiation starts killing us Yo, hold up. I think we just got some good stuff. Oh my god All right, I think the radiation is about to start killing us. So we're gonna go ahead Bounce out a little bit. Let me take a look at these recipes real quick We got a rare ak-47 recipe and rare soldier boots. All right ak-47 is a decent recipe Oh, I already had both of these. Yo, I do see somebody right there on a motorcycle I'm gonna go ahead and try and light him up I think you can actually heal. Oh, wait. I wasn't reloaded. Oh, okay. He's gone. That dude's gone. You know what? I'm just going to dip out of here. All right. I got some pretty decent stuff. I am going to head on out. Wait. No way he's coming back. No way. Hold up. What? What is this? All right. All right hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Come here. Let me. I can get on the bike, bro. I can get on the bike. Hold up. Heal a little bit. Dude. What is this? Bro. This is so annoying. Come here. All right. I, for some reason, cannot get on this bike to save my life. And, oh, my God. This is actually bad. This is bad. I was going to dip, dude. He hopped out. He hopped out. I can light him up right here. Pull out this. All right. He's not peeking. Come on. Peek it. Ooh. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I forgot there's that five in this game. I'm just going to. Oh. We're going to large med. And then we are heading on out of here. Goodbye. <sighs> Jesus, man. This is stressful playing solo, bro. I swear to God it is. For some reason, I literally couldn't hop on that guy's bike to save my life. But we should be out of combat right now. So I can just hop off and slash bed. Boom. There we go. But anyways, guys, that is going to go ahead and do it for this episode for right now. I'm really... You know, just not trying to die as a solo because I still am learning how to PvP and stuff on the server. But 
yeah i would say we are one of the richest clans on the server as of right now if i do slash clan info xbo look at how many kills we have total kills 142 unfortunately clan top apparently doesn't update until like the second week or something so we don't really know who's entirely the richest at the moment but in the next episode we should be setting up our main base because we have a ton of concrete right here but anyways guys that is gonna do it for this first episode of outlands if you guys did enjoy be sure you drop a like sub if you guys are new in the next video we're gonna be getting into some raids most likely a lot more pvp but today was the first day tnt is disabled all that stuff so yeah be sure to come check out outlands if you guys haven't already this game mode is super super fun hop on with a couple of your friends see if you guys can actually come contest my clan that would actually be interesting because force rating on here i have watched some videos they are absolutely nuts so with all that being said i'm gonna end the episode off here and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next one